So this is an example of what you're going to be making today. You're going to be creating an equivalent fraction video using animations in Keynote. You can see here that the equivalent fraction that I've created is two quarters equals one half. And I'm gonna get started now on showing you how to make one of these for yourself. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own equivalent fraction video in Keynote with animations and specifically also using arrangement to make your equivalent fraction really clear and interactive. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that you are free to make your equivalent fraction look however you would like, as creative as you would like it to be. However, I'm also going to include a template with pre-made pieces here that you're able to use, okay? But you don't have to use those unless you would like to. So the first thing that you need to do is to create your one whole. So I've chosen to create a square here and I just did that by pressing the plus and going to shapes. And then I added my square from there. The next thing that I need to do is to decide what equation am I going to show? So what I've decided to show is two quarters equals one half. So I need to make my one whole into quarters. So the way that I'm going to do that is to make four smaller square pieces inside of my one whole. Now we need to remember that all of these quarters need to be the same size or take up the same amount of space of the one whole to be one quarter. So I'm just gonna press the plus, press shapes, press square, and bring it on top here, and then make it one quarter of my larger square. Once I've done that, I can press the paintbrush and for now, I'm just going to make it white. So I go to style, fill, color, white, and I can't see it anymore. So I need a border. So I just turn that on and I'm going to make this four points. Okay. So I can see that here. Now, if I tap on it, I can copy and paste. And then I can bring that over here. Now I see that's a little bit too big. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste again. There, that's better. So I can see here, I'm going to copy and paste it again. And paste again and now you can see here that I've made my one hole into four quarters. Now I want to show two quarters so I leave it is as I've done now and I'm going to add two more squares so I can just copy paste and instead of this one being white I want it to be shaded in so I can tell that it's one quarter. So I'm gonna do that by pressing the paintbrush, style, fill. I'm gonna choose a gradient. You can choose whichever color you would like um, to color this in to make it look interesting. Okay, so this is my shape here. And you can see if I move this over, now it's showing one quarter, but I need two quarters. So I'm just gonna tap on it copy and paste. Great. So now I can move these over here on top. Perfect. So now I need to write somewhere to show that this is two quarters. So I'm going to be doing that by pressing the plus, going to media, choosing drawing. And I can choose any of these pens that I would like. I like the crayon or the pencil. So I'm just going to tap on it and change the color. I'm going to choose this blue because it kind of matches. I can also tap on here and I can choose how wide I want the brush stroke to be. I'm going to choose that one. And then I'm just going to write two quarters. Okay. 
And for this part right now, we don't know what our equivalent fraction is gonna be yet, so I'm just gonna write equals question mark for now. And I press done. Okay, so now my drawing's down here. Now, here is where the trickier but fun part comes in, is we're gonna add our movement to show two quarters is equivalent to another fraction. So here is where I'm going to use my magic move transition. So I tap on my slide, and then these options come up. I'm going to choose transition. Once I've tapped transition, it says add transition. I'm going to choose magic move. Okay. And then I just press done. Now it's going to ask me to duplicate the slide. And the answer is yes, I want to duplicate it. Because anything I do on slide two will show up during that transition. So it'll go from slide one and then it'll move to its new position in slide two. So what I want to do on slide two is show two quarters equals one half. So I'm just going to add another drawing here and I'm going to change the color again. I'm going to write two quarters equals one half. Perfect. Okay, I just want to show you what this will look like in the magic move. You can always just try it out and see by pressing on slide one and then pressing play. And you can see that that changes to one half. So even though one half isn't here, it changes to one half on slide two. So now I need to make my one half. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna move some of these guys out of the way. I'm gonna highlight my larger square, my one hole. I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm just gonna put this square back here, okay. So now I need to, like I made my hole into quarters, I need to make it into halves. So I'm gonna do that by pressing the plus, pressing shapes, and I'm gonna make this a larger rectangle, which is about half of my shape. Then like before, I'm gonna style it, make the fill white, the border, four, perfect. And I can see that that's about one half. Maybe just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so what I wanna see from slide one to slide two is that these two quarters cover or occupy the same amount of space as one half. So all I need to do is move one quarter over, oh, this is a problem, I can't see it anymore. And this is where learning about arrangement comes in. So arrangement ha shows how shapes can be further to the front or further to the back on a slide. So all I need to do is tap my object, go to the paintbrush, go to arrange, and here at the top it says move to back or front. I want this to be furthest to the front. So I just slide it over and then I can just move it over here and you can see, great, not a problem anymore. Now this one, let's see, oh, same problem. So I have to fix my arrangement. I tap the object, tap the paintbrush, arrange, and bring it to the front. Now I can move it over here. Now don't worry if you're moving the shape all over the screen, that won't show up in your magic move, it will just move to its final position. So I can check it here by pressing play. And now I can see my two quarters becomes one half. Awesome. Now, if that's what you're comfortable with, you can stop there or you can add even more magic moves and animations to make your fractions really interactive and engaging. I'm gonna add one more. So again, I'm gonna press transition, or top the slide, press transition, add transition, magic move. 
Okay, press done. It's gonna ask me to duplicate. I duplicate. Okay, now this one's going from slide two to slide three. So I just wanna show that two quarters is the same as one half. So I wanna show, I'm just gonna delete this one and I'm gonna enlarge this one to go longer so I can see that it takes up the space of one half. So now if I press play, should go two quarters equals one half. And I can see that that's one half there. Now, I wanna add even one more magic move. So again, tap, transition, add transition, magic move. Okay, press done, duplicate again. And on this last slide, I wanna show that one half covers the same space as two quarters. So I wanna move it back to the original position. So now if I watch it all, I can see two quarters equals one half. One half equals two quarters. And that's my animation that I've created. Now, of course, you can use different colors, make it more interesting or engaging than I have. I'm just showing you some of the basics of magic move and arrangement and styling shapes. When you're all finished, you're gonna press the three dots. Okay, you're going to export. Now, normally if we were in class, we would choose animated GIF, but Seesaw doesn't support that type of file. So we're gonna press movie. And in movie, I wanna make sure that my slide range is only slides one to four, because that's the only place that my animation takes place. So I go back, I press export, it's going to create my movie, then I press share, save video.